Hello, hello. This is going to be a video about uh, this wireless earphone that I just bought. Uh, it's called the Soundpeach True Engine SE. Uh, I, I bought it through a friend because uh, I can't order it um, from Amazon for it to be delivered to Indonesia. So what I had to do is I asked my friend who lives in the US to order it for me and then when she comes back to Indonesia, she'll bring it with her. So not only I save sh uh, shipping costs, I save myself from the fear and yeah, the fear of the product itself getting ruined uh, during shipping. So yeah, let me just, uh, because I've done the unboxing myself, uh, I'll just explain you what I got from the box. This is the box. Uh, this is the front of the box. You get the picture picture of the wireless earphone itself without the case and they really uh, emphasized on how uh, from the aesthetic of the, uh, the earphone itself it, it has the transparent part of the earphone as you can see where it shows the dual drivers uh, it has dual drivers I think if I'm not mistaken one of them is for the treble and the other is for the bass if I'm, if I'm not mistaken here you can see the, uh, the charging, uh, what do you call it? The charging contacts, the charging points, and the logo. Apparently, uh, this is the new Soundpeats logo, as uh, what I found out from the internet, from the YouTube comments. And they also mentioned it in, in one of the cars that they included in the packaging, the fact that they have changed the logo from the old one to the new one. And on the side, you can see uh, Soundpeats, the branding bottoms and barcodes and other information you know, the 27 hours which I'll get into later on and uh, the other side on I think the, the the right side has a model that uh, demonstrate how it looks like on the ear as you can see it looks, uh, looks pretty darn nice I mean I've tried it myself and it is cool so this is the back of the box. It has a lot more information than what you get on the front. It says True Engine SE. It shows the uh, both the earphones uh, themselves and uh, the casing, which houses the, uh, I think, uh, if we see on the box, I think they have the information. No, they don't. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it houses a 300 uh, milliamp of battery, lithium mistaken there's a lot of i'm not mistaken in this video but oh well it's a one take video uh my bad uh, it's actually 500 uh hours of battery yeah so let's just check it's actually 500 not 300. so the way you open the box is you slide the the inside of the box out of this uh, this outer shell or packaging and then you are greeted with a completely black box with the label still attached this uh, barcode label and then uh we open it uh, just open it like so by the way this whole packaging was uh uh wrapped in this uh, plastic so it's good you know, they really care about the so yeah, this is what you get. You get this uh, three different uh, different kind of barcodes that would lead you to three different websites. One is for their their official uh, Facebook page and their official site, and uh, apparently they have some kind of uh, a line account. So maybe like if you have any complaints about the products, you can just chat them right away, and you know they'll they'll help you with the problems. Up to twenty one month uh, months of warranty. That's good. So that's uh, free trial privilege. Uh, I think that's. I don't know. Uh, I think what it, what it means is, I think it's for those reviewers who got it for free. I don't know why they include over like free trial privilege. I, I don't I don't get that. Or or maybe uh, it means that if anything goes wrong, you can just simply return it and get a, get a new one or get a full refund. Uh, but I'm not really sure about that, so it's just an assumption. Latest product promotions. Oh, no, no, this is what you get. This is what you get for following these accounts, these three accounts on the website. So here 
are the paperworks. That's the first one, which is the manual. It just shows you how to uh, operate the uh, wireless earphones, uh, the case and everything. And the LED indicator, you know, to tell you uh, what it means when it blinks on a particular matter, a uh, particular way. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, and um, when you first remove the uh, instruction manual, you will be greeted by the earphone encased in its case like this like so so it is protected by this uh, foam so it uh, so to assure that it doesn't get uh, shipped and shaken uh, during the uh, shipping if you do uh, choose a shipping method from the US to any country in and yeah uh, yeah so you, you, you are first greeted with the with the case itself with the earphone already uh, um, placed inside the case so what I did back then was I just took this off and you know just trying to mesmerize the glory of this uh, wireless earphone by the way this wireless earphone only cost I think on uh, yeah, on Amazon it's uh, $45 and if you use the coupon uh, you get like $5 off no 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 it's forty-seven dollars, and you get five dollars coupon, uh, and then it just you know it becomes forty-three, and that's excluding shipping. So like the uh, it, in the end, it would cost you like around like fifty-ish or something. So yeah, uh huh. So here is what it looks like. Oh, all right. I'll just put this aside first because we want to dive deep into the box. So what else do we got? Here is another tiny box inside the box which has um i took out the micro usb already so and it's in my bag and i'm too lazy to go to my bag so i'll just tell you that yeah it's, in, it's included you know yeah. so what you get is only a micro usb a short micro usb cable for charging yes this wireless earphone is charged by a micro usb cable uh, it's a shame like but you know with the price comes a certain kind of quality so yeah and you get a uh, three pair of uh interchangeable ear tips earbuds so the one i'm using right now is the smallest one because it fits my ear canal better and here in the uh zip bag is the medium size and the large size so that's cool it's very simple very straightforward not a lot of uh it doesn't include you know too much gimmick like you know clips and all that which i mean this is a wireless earphone it's not uh like this is a true wireless earphone it's not for everyone so i think it's, it should be that simple am i right yes am I, right? I am right so this is the phone that uh plays a role in protecting the wireless earphone this side. and here it has a uh, more interesting pamphlet or paperworks so the first one uh you are uh it shows the charging tips apparently you have to follow a particular particular uh, way of charging the earphone because i think it's very sensitive to like high voltage so you know, gotta be careful with that because you don't want to ruin your earphones right right and it comes in four languages english japanese and i think it's german and then french last one i think it's spanish And logo update, see, uh, like I said before, uh, they go all the way into printing a page to explain about their uh, logo update. I don't know, it's just, uh, I think they thought it was important to actually inform the, the buyer about the change in the logo. And it's, it's such a rare thing for a company, uh, a, a tech company to actually go or go their way and you know making a physical information about such thing but i don't know i kind of appreciate it i feel i feel like they by by doing this they really pay attention to the details you know, just to further express their attentiveness to the small things great 
customer care. So this is, I think it's about the, uh, yeah, just the customer service, the overall, uh, overall customer service. I haven't yet to, uh, try this. So um, I think if I do stumble upon a problem, I would definitely try this customer service and see if it's as reliable as they proclaim. Satisfied, share it. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been meaning to make a review on Amazon on how my experience so far with the earphones. And yeah, I, I, I will be doing that soon. So, uh, the benefits. Yeah, 21 months warranty, free trial privilege. Uh, this, is what, uh, this is what you get when you uh, follow the accounts, uh, I assumed. You know, these accounts that I mentioned previously on the box, on the top of the box. So, yeah, how to get these. Uh, Facebook, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, that is all you get. You get the customer care service info, charging tips, logo changes, and the instruction manual, which I don't think you guys want to go through. I mean, it's going to take another 10 minutes, but I don't know. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. So, what I like to do after unboxing a tech box, I like to reassemble them you know, to its original condition. So, first one is this the black one and charging tips and then the box that includes the earphone tips and yada yada which i will put it this way in the same uh, uh, manner and the phone and i will leave the uh, actual wireless earphone in this case outside i'm going to review that after this the instruction manual and just close the box once again in a tidy fashion <laughs> and insert it in this protective uh, sleeve carton sleeve Floop. all right so this is the uh, earphone themselves the case so now i'm just gonna guide you through the uh, the case first so as you can see right here uh at the top let's start from the top uh we have the sound pizza logo or the branding on the top yeah. Doesn't have the logo, but just the writing is on Pete's. And on the front side of the case, uh, we have the LED indicators, uh, four LED indicators, which indicate the battery life and whether your uh, wireless earphones are charging or not. Yeah, so uh, the way it indicates whether your earphones are charging or not, that the far, the far left and the far right uh, LED will light up and it will uh, turn off once your earphones are fully charged and fully charged and for the uh, battery life indicator uh, it will start from the left uh, if it's full the whole thing will be uh, lit and it will uh, turn off one by one to the right as it drained and it charges with a micro usb unfortunately but i mean that's okay considering the price is you know 50 bucks under 50 bucks so this is acceptable this is an acceptable compromise i mean they ha they had to make some cuts somewhere and this is one of the cuts that they make uh the one thing that i don't like about the case it just it's a just it's a small nip because it's not really important but just very uh, slightly noticeable is the uh construction okay let me just uh put this out there the construction of the case itself it's very robust very solid it's plastic but it's very solid i mean most wireless earphones they are made of plastics but uh you wouldn't expect this kind of quality from from a uh, under 50 bucks uh wireless earphones and it has a matte finish to it so it's not glossy it doesn't leave fingerprints so that's always nice to see in a uh affordable budget uh wireless earphones or any tech gadget just it, it feels nice it feels very premium very solid it's just something that you would like to fidget around with you know it's just very smooth and it feels like a pebble you know so it's good very good i think i haven't left a scratch a single scratch on this yet yeah, so yeah, it has a matte finish and battery wise, the case itself, it houses a 500 milliamp hour uh, battery. And in my experience, 
I mean, the website claims that this case alone would last, would provide you with an extra 27 hours of battery life. And from my own experience, both the earphones and the case have uh, sufficiently. I meant to say sufficiently, so sorry about that. Provide me uh, with around four to five days of usage and that's uh, based on my normal usage with, uh, which I would use uh, from day to day around an hour or so so in the, I don't use it continuously for five hours but yeah all right so enough about the case let's continue onwards to the wireless earphone themselves so as you open the case and it's just it has a very nice uh, hinge mechanism uh, it's it doesn't feel cheap and yeah when you open it the the LED lights will uh, the LED indicators will light up and currently right now it's indicating that the case has 80% of battery life yeah it's a it's a single hinge uh, mechanism it's very solid I don't I don't see it wobble or you know show any uh, signs indicating that it is cheap no it's just it's, very nice, very solid, very well built, which I really appreciate uh, Soundbeats for, you know, doing this much work into the construction, the contraption for this earphones. All right, that's, oh yeah, uh, before I continue, these earphones are magnetized into the case. So that's always good to see in a wireless earphones uh, case because uh, in a scenario where you would use this in public, uh, for example, if you use this on a train or in a bus, in a crowded places, you don't want your earphones to uh, wobble around and fall out from the cases as you open the case. So a magnetized uh, case and earphone is always nice and appreciated. All right, let's continue on to the earphone itself. So as you take these off, uh, these will light up. Um, during the pairing procedure, it would uh, light up uh, white and red. Yeah, as you can see right now, the white one will light up like that. And yeah, um, I won't go into details on how to pair these things. It's pretty simple and basic, just like any other Bluetooth device. <laughs> so yeah, you just have to turn on your Bluetooth and then connect them with your phone. So. Like so. So I'll just dive into details on the earphones themselves. So these, these earphones, uh, they are equipped with uh, Qualcomm chipset uh, 3020 uh, or 3020. What that means is that it's using the latest chipset offered by Qualcomm for uh, wireless, uh, wireless earphones or maybe, yeah, yeah, for wireless earphones. It's either for only wireless earphones or any wearable tech like smartwatches and any Bluetooth uh, device that is run by Qualcomm. But as far as I know, uh, I think this chipset is designed specifically for wireless earphones. If I'm not mistaken, I may be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah. Uh, and what uh, the things that comes with that Qualcomm chipset is you get Bluetooth 5.0. And what that means is that you get a better uh, per overall performance compared to the previous generation of Bluetooth uh, 4.2. So what you get is uh, you get a longer range uh, distance. Let's say for example, I think Bluetooth 4.2, it was only around uh, uh, a particular distance. And with Bluetooth uh, 5.0, it, amplifies that distance it multiplies it three times the distance so you can get you can go further away from your phone when using this uh, these bluetooth earphones each of these earphone comes with uh dual drivers which uh to my knowledge i think uh both are responsible for the treble and the bass so one of the drivers for treble and one of the the other driver is for the bass mistaken and yeah what i like about the the design of this earphone itself is that it has this transparent part of the earphone which i really adore 
because um, as you all know, most tech enthusiasts they like to see the internals of uh, a gadget they that they have. For example, the the Game Boy, uh, the Game Boy Advance, I think, or the Game Boy, uh, one of the Game Boys. Uh, they have they have this uh, transparent version of the console, so I mean that's that's good. And the Walkman you, you used to have those as well back in the days. And yeah, it's really nice that they uh, introduce uh, a taste of uh, nostalgia to the, to the you know back in the days where you know yeah showing the internals are a thing. Let me just uh, get a closer look. Beauty. So yeah, it's just it's it's really nice. It just it makes you appreciate more of what's going on inside and the engineering put into this. You know, just appreciate that craftsmanship and the hard work that has been put into this tiny, amazing device. Yeah. So uh, it has a button on both side, the the right side and the left side, and they are responsible for controlling the media, answering and rejecting calls, and activating uh, voice assistants such as uh, Google Assistant or uh, Amazon Alexa or I think Siri if this were, were paired with an iPhone, which I don't think iPhone users would use these as they have already have the perfect companion as the AirPods. So yeah, this probably would only uh, sells uh, towards Android phone users or any budget phone. Yeah. Anyway, um, continue on with the earphones. Uh, yeah. So we've covered the buttons and what they do. And <clears throat> here are the charging points. It has three charging points. It charges using a charging pin. So. I mean, based on my experience, I, I I don't really have a great experience with charging pins, especially proprietary uh, charging pins, because when they're broken, and you can't really replace it with a third-party charging uh, contract or device. So you really have to rely on their one and only uh, case that is bundled with the packaging. So there's. That's just something to uh, know about. So the earphones alone, they they house a I think I don't know I don't know the capacity of the the actual size of the battery inside the each earphones. I think it's around a hundred on each or maybe less. But what I know is that the duration of uh, uh, of the battery life uh, this can last for, uh, they claim that it would last uh, 6 or 5.7 hours but I think from my experience of using this uh, one or twice and and according to most uh, YouTube reviewers um, this would last around 5 hours which is great and combining with the case itself which could last 27 hours uh, could add 27 more hours to the, to the, to the earphones yeah, it would, it would, I can say this uh, confidently that if you use it uh, regularly, these earphones would last you for around five, four to five days if you, if you just use it for like, you know, an hour or so. I mean, yeah, I mean, in, in most scenarios, people wouldn't use this continuously for like six hours. So. But if you do, then um, the case is able to uh, charge up your, your earbuds uh for for uh, another four four times so you can charge it uh four times so you can give uh yeah, yeah it can give uh a boost uh, four times you can charge it four times more so yeah around 37 hours so i mean that's great uh sound quality wise if i can summarize this in one line uh, that would be that it it lacks bass uh, the bass isn't something to brag about it's just, I mean, it's there, it, it exists, but it doesn't really uh, stand out. It's not a prominent feature that you would get from this earphone. However, the treble and everything else, like if you listen to the vocals in a song, it's very nice. It's, it, I have no complaints about it. It's very clear. It's very true to the original sound. And yeah, 
everything else sounds great except for the bass that's all i can say i mean i'm um, not really an audiophile so i mean an audiophile would notice one or two uh, flaws that this has but generally uh generally i think uh people people in general would actually be okay with this i mean considering uh considering the battery life and the price and yeah the the sound isn't that bad it's not it's not terrible uh and but i can't say it's the the best that i've heard i mean i've i've listened to like a better uh set of earphones that has a better bass but yeah i think this is sufficient enough for for those who are looking just for you know a pair of uh, overall great earphones um yeah it, yeah it's not bass heavy but it'll do ah mic uh the mic performance is actually great i mean i've i've tried using this uh to call uh to call my friends and and i was using this while riding a motorcycle and you you can imagine the amount of wind noise that you would get while riding a motorcycle and talking right and yeah this uh the the person on the other end doesn't seem to have a problem hearing my voice i mean they do notice the occasional wind noise uh passing through the, the mic but overall it's the same kind of uh response that i get when i use my normal earphones so yeah this is, this is actually really great and and given the fact that the they only use an internal mic there's no auto mic i think they they only use the uh, built-in mic inside the uh, earbuds. So yeah, this is really great. I'm 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 super impressed by this this pair of earphones because they have really uh, go beyond my expectation on a budget fifty dollar uh, earbuds. Like they really excel on a lot of things that I I, I never thought they would excel. But yeah, the only the only major uh, complaint that I have about this is just the lack of bass. That's all. Oh, and yeah, it's. I mean, it's it, it is important, but it's it's not uh, a huge deal breaker. The ear tips, the ear tips that comes with these uh, with, with the with the earphones, um, they're not as comfortable as I would expect from a gel ear tips. Because I'm a huge fan of uh, gel ear tips because it gives uh, uh, what do you call it a passive noise uh, cancellation. Yeah, I meant to say rubber ear tips, not gel. So yeah. However, this one, the one that comes with uh, the the earphones, they don't really perform well, uh, at least in my ear canal, because. Um, it's wider than the the one that I used to use. I I always go with the smallest uh, the smallest size of uh, ear tips because of my uh, I think unusual small ear canal. That's not unusual. It's really good to have. But yeah, uh, the reason why this is uncomfortable is I think uh, I think it is because of this uh, edge, this ridges on the side. It's kind of sharp. It's not well cut. Uh, I think maybe during the production they don't they're just using cheap earbuds yeah and once again it's to compensate the uh, the low price kind of a bummer but uh it's not a huge deal breaker because this is interchangeable you can actually take this off and replace it with a better one so it's not really a huge problem i can always get a new one however uh during my journey on looking for a new earbuds I realized that this has a different kind of size compared to any other uh, earbuds in general. Uh, apparently, this part of the tip is slightly thinner in width compared to uh, normal earbuds. So when I tried applying my my old Jabra Rocks uh, ear tips, it doesn't fit because my Jabra Rocks uh, ear tips. Uh, this part of my Jabba Rock ear tips, it's slightly wider compared to this. So this is thinner, so it doesn't fit. So that's why my Jabra Rock's uh, ear tips kind of wobble and it doesn't really fit right. So I had to uh, revert back to the original ear tips that comes with this. So kind of a bummer, but I think there's a solution to that. I think uh, Comply offers 
uh, yeah, Comply has uh, a specifically made ear tips for Sound Beats. So I think Sound Beats is actually a somewhat uh, uh, well, not well known. It's just it's known by some companies that yeah, this this brand exists. It's not some random Chinese uh, earphone company, com- uh, earphone manufacturer. It's actually a, a legit brand. I've I've gone to the website and I've gone to other website like yeah for example comply website they do have uh specific ear, ear tips for this brand not specifically for this ear, ear ear tips but yeah they they do have it for this one so yeah i mean this brand for the price for the incredibly low price it offers a lot it offers a lot and compared to other budget uh, wireless earphones, I haven't tried them yet, but uh, according to the reviews that I've seen on YouTube, and yeah, it really stacks up among among all those great budget earphones. And I'd say that this falls uh, under the top three of all budget earphones. And design-wise, I really like this. It kind of resembles the uh, uh, Jabra Jabra 65T uh, in terms of the shape. But what makes this unique is the yeah the transparent part. I, I don't think other brands have done this before. Uh, Soundpeats they they did uh, apply this design in other of their products. Their, their other wireless earphones. I think the uh, Soundpe- uh, Soundpeats True Engine Two they did the same thing. Dual drivers and transparent parts partially. Uh, and yeah, this is yeah this is overall a great package for the price. It's just it's really nice and yeah if you're looking for uh, for a budget earphones that doesn't copy the design of an airpod which i think personally looks terrible even the original airpods is just it's like earpods and you just cut off the cables and that's it just there's no innovation in design there's no creativity whereas this i mean i like the design i know it resembles a jabra 65t but but then again i am a huge fan of jabra 65t but because of the high price, I reverted to this, the a more budget friendly, a more pocket friendly uh, choice. Yeah, and yeah, I'm I'm not just I'm not disappointed by it because I thought I thought a cheap uh, a cheap wireless earphone would, you know, equals to bad quality and overall bad experience. But so far, I really have no complaints in this. This is really really great. So yeah. That's all I have to say about these uh, great earphones. As you can see, it latches on the case very easily and charges immediately. And yeah, like I said, on the far left and on the far right, it will light up to indicate that the both of the earbuds are charging and they will turn off when it's full. So yeah, this has been the review of uh, sound pete's true engine se i hope you guys like it i hope this is as informative as it should be and yeah thanks for watching and if you're a subscriber thanks for subscribing uh it would be nice if you leave a, a thumbs up and a comment and you know regarding uh, this video and what I should add or if there's any missing information please feel free to ask in the comment section I will try my best to reply them as soon as possible thank you for watching and I hope I see you guys in the next video if I make one again if I buy any interesting gadget cheers bye bye peace I don't know goodbye